Pros and cons of selling to an investor. If you're selling your home and an investor walks in and offers you all cash, you might think you've died and gone to heaven. But wait, before you sign that purchase contract, think it through. Not all investors are created equal. Well, what is an investor? An investor is a person or company that wants to buy your property to make money. So negotiations will go a bit differently, usually smoother. Now let's go through the pros and cons to make sure you know what to look out for if you are dealing with an investor on the sale of your home. Drew Allum here with the Calgary Home Sale Channel. I am a realtor and investor here in Calgary. And as an investor and an agent, we have an opportunity to both buy and sell where we deal with investors. Let's go through the pros first into dealing with an investor and why you should probably look at doing it when you sell. First up, you can sell your home as is. An investor is not looking to buy the house for them to live in it. They are looking for it to make money. As a matter of fact, if it's in terrible shape, that might be a great thing for an investor because they want to potentially fix and flip or to renovate it and refinance it before they put it as a rental. So an as is sale is a great thing for you. Second great thing about dealing with investors is that many investors buy in cash. So there's little chance that you'll have an issue with financing when time comes to close. In a traditional sale, even when a buyer has a pre-approval, the lender, for whatever reason, can change their mind to actually put the money together on the closing. We see this happen quite often in the market where someone's got a pre-approval and then financing doesn't happen and the deal falls apart. If you're dealing with a cash buying investor, that won't be an issue. Be sure, however, to ask that investor for proof of funds. This can come in the form of bank statements or liquid assets that show that there is more cash available to purchase than the purchase price of your property. If the investor or the company has a partner on the deal, make sure you get those proof of funds before you close. Third benefit to dealing with an investor on the sale of your house is quicker closings because we don't have to worry about financing and they're buying in cash nine times out of 10. It's just gonna be a matter of whatever other conditions or terms that need to be filled. We've seen deals that can close in as little as a week to two weeks. Whereas sometimes if you're dealing with a standard purchase on the multiple listing service, it could be one to two months. So if you really, really need to get yourself sold quickly, an investor may be the way to go. Then the fourth benefit to working with an investor is the potential for flexible purchase arrangements. If your home is underwater or you'd like to get out of the real estate game altogether but still don't want to move, there's some creative things that probably need to be done and that's where you'll need to talk to an investor who's savvy enough to get that done for you. Depending on the restrictions where you live, an investor may even take over your mortgage payments until time comes for them to actually sell the house to you or you can even rent the property back from them. At least you can have that discussion with an investor to make something work for you. So that's all good. Those are the pros, but what about the cons? You don't always know who's actually buying the property. Anyone unlicensed doesn't have any obligation to tell you who actually is going to be the final user of the property. Now this may be a problem if you have any sort of sentimental tie to the house, if you've been there forever, but yeah, an investor can pretty much do anything with it once it's done. They can assign the contract to someone else. They can tear down the property and build something else. So yeah, sometimes it might be important to know who's actually purchasing the property in the end. Second problem you might face when you're dealing with an investor is you might not be selling your property at its true market value. To be fair, most investors are looking to buy homes below market value. They're out to get a bargain. If you decide to sell your property without an agent, you might be leaving money on the table. Also, if an investor owns a parcel of land that's adjacent to your property, they could be willing to pay more to actually get their final project done. To negotiate successfully, make sure you have as much information on your side as possible. Getting an agent who's savvy with dealing with investors could be important in making sure you win. The third problem that could come up is the cash buyer is potentially a scam. An increasing scenario is someone posing as a foreign buyer or an investor representing one contacts you and says that they want to close on a property right away. The investor never wants to see the house. They just want to purchase it. They may be talking about cashier's checks, 
there's a bunch of stuff that can be going on in the background. Just make sure that your alert is up. Scams are out there. You don't want to be swindled out of money and worse yet, swindled out of your property. To prevent this, you can do a couple things. You can probably hire an agent, but be aware, hiring somebody else is gonna come with a fee, and that's probably what you were trying to avoid in dealing with the investor in the first place. Secondly, and at the very least, try to find out as much as you possibly can about the investor or whichever company that they are being represented by. Everybody today has got a digital footprint. Google them, find out about them, look for reviews. This last point isn't necessarily a scam, but it's something you should be aware of. There are investors that are wholesalers. What they do is they will put their property under contract and then attempt to sell it to another investor. If you're getting the amount of money that you want from the house and someone else has the ability to pass it on for a fee, you could be okay with that. But as to the earlier point, just make sure you're not leaving too much money on the table or try to find out and make sure you're aware of everything that's gonna be happening with the contract and with your property so that you're comfortable with the deal. When a buyer offers to purchase your home in all cash and with no conditions, it could seem too good to be true. And it might be. Make sure you do some due diligence and find out who it is that you're dealing with. The investors that I represent do many times purchase in all cash and with no conditions. But you see me online and you can check us out. Do the same for any investor that is in your area that you're thinking of working with. Before you sign any purchase agreements, you wanna hire a good real estate attorney to go over the documentation. You don't wanna leave thousands of dollars on the table because you were too trusting or unprepared. And there you have it, the pros and cons of dealing with an investor when you're selling your property. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section down below. Always love to hear from you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. My name is Drew, and I'll catch you in the next video.